Okay, so here we are underneath the uh, front of the truck, and here's the transfer case there, and then the engine's over here, and this is the front driver's side wheel. And so we have a drive shaft that runs from the transfer case all the way to the front differential, and if I grab onto it, listen to this. Watch this. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick that up, but what's happening is this cap is loose underneath this strap and in this yoke right here. That cap is loose. The other side, can't do it. I'm gonna take this strap off. I've done some reading and people say that if these caps are loose underneath the strap, you bought the wrong U-joint. You bought a U-joint that has caps that are a smaller diameter. And uh, some U-joints have um, caps that are a bigger diameter for where they go underneath the straps and a smaller diameter for where they press into the, uh, into the shaft. So I've read. I haven't got any experience with it myself. But what I find is bizarre is the other side's tight, so why is this one loose? Um, I'll see if these bolts have backed off, but I'm doubtful of that. So that means that corrosion has allowed space to open up and this to be loose. So my options are replace the straps for 10 bucks, which I did buy a new strap kit, or take this strap, clamp it in a vise to not fully, but to straighten it out a little bit so that when it bolts down, it grips there better. I'm probably gonna try that. But anyway, I'll take this off and see what happens. Okay, so these were an 11 millimeter bolt head. I used the socket on there instead of a wrench because the socket has six points, six sides. It's less likely to strip, even less likely than a box head wrench because most box head wrenches are 12 point. So, uh, oh, and that's, those are grade eight bolts. Isn't that nice to see? I can see the little nicks on the top of them. Uh, the bolts were tight, by the way. There was no problem there. And you can see, well, not now that I touched it with anything, but when I took the strap off, I could see clean steel all the way around, which means that there was no corrosion underneath the strap for it to lift away. Looks like it just wore somehow. There must've been a vibration and it wore. So I'm going to take this strap, clean it up, and uh, straighten it out a little bit in the vise and put it back on so it grips tighter and see if that helps. All right, so there's really not much to see underneath. So uh, I'm going to compare it to some brand new straps that I bought to see if there's any difference. Again, I bought a replacement set of straps. They look identical to the one that came off. I've lined them up in multiple angles, and they just, I just, it's hard to, with one hand there to line them up. But anyway, I just can't see a single difference between them. So rather than put the new ones on, which also won't fit, I'm going to crunch this in the vise just a little bit to flatten it out. Now, if I do that too much, it'll make it so that the bolt holes are too far apart. So I don't want to do that, but just a little bit. I may end up wrecking these. Don't care. That's why I get another set. Okay. So when I lined up the original, or sorry, the new ones with the original, they were completely lined up before. Let's see what happens now that I've flattened the face. So I can clearly see the top of this over the top of that, but not by much, which is all I want. You don't want very much. And this, I, if I push down here, that doesn't really move. But if I push here, watch. So that confirms to me that I have indeed opened this up. So as long as the bolt holes still go through there, I'm gonna give it a try and we'll see what happens. Okay, so now if I push my strap all the way on there, I can actually rock it. And that tells me for sure I bent that. So anyway, what I'm gonna do, put those bolts back in, I'll push this cap up as far as I can before I tighten them down, and then I'll snug them up. Okay, so I got a little bit of anti-seize on there and put it all back together again. And now listen to this. There's not much to see, but I can't make the noise anymore. 